Now, we see this whole idea of putting blood away. We have the sacrificial system in Exodus. Go ahead and kill this lamb. We have life is in the blood. It's the blood that makes atonement for the soul. We have to shed blood. So he's laying out the requirements for why you have to present blood to him in the Holy of Holies because it represents life. And the wages of sin is death. So blood is what symbolizes death. This is the Passover. These are all the different verses that talks about Christ. Blood, don't break his bones. Remember in Psalms, and that's what happened on the cross. Now, for the Passover, Romans 3.25, he passes over the sins. Remember what happens? What happens is they say, take that blood of that innocent lamb, put it on the outside, and then where are they supposed to go when they put the blood on the outside? Holy of holies. <laughs> they go in. And so when they're in, it's the same as Noah with his family sealed in the ark, sealed by the Holy Spirit, right? When you go in there, the destroyer can't get to you. Can't get to you. So don't come out until morning. The angel of death passes over, sees the blood. You're good. Guess what happens for you? Um, you are no longer under the penalty because the blood is what you trust in and what Christ accomplished and now Christ lives in you, and his blood covers all your sins. So this just goes through all of that Passover. When God sees the blood, he will not allow the destroyer to come into your house. When you trust in Christ, God will not allow the penalty of death to be on you any longer. You're free from that. You can't. You belong to him. 